Okay, in this video, we're going to discuss how to construct a box and whisker plot or a box plot uh, using Excel. And I'm going to be talking about this um, using this data set that I found online of medium household incomes in 2015. And I'll paste the source for this in the descriptions of my video. Um, so what, what do we have going on here? We have the median income for each of these little towns in the United States. And it's quite a bit of data. It's somewhere around 27,300 and some uh, observations. Okay, So basically the United States has been broken down into all these little tiny towns and we have their median incomes recorded here. Now I've sorted this data um, by smallest to largest. Uh, it doesn't need to be sorted right now, but I sorted it for convenience sake, okay? Um, so first thing, let's go ahead and construct our, our box and whisker plot. So press C, which will highlight all of the data, okay? And then go to insert under here, this little bar graph. It's a uh, statistics chart. And we see th there's the box and whisker plot. So let's press on that. Uh, since it's so much data, it might take a second, but there you go. There it is. All right, let's look at what we got here. So this is, let's go ahead and label this median um, house hold income in 2015. Okay, um, a few things about this chart, if I were to click on it um, and right click on it. There's this format data series here and there's a few options that this gives us over to the right. Um, we can show inner points, which is that's all the data observations inside. Um, we can show the outer points, which those guys are the outliers. You see how if I erase that, we don't have any outliers showing. And then here we have outliers showing. Uh, the mean line, it would be a line where the mean is. Um, so you have, you have a few options over there that you can play around with, okay? So let's talk about what is this box and whisker plot. So great, we just drew it, but what does it mean? So down here at the bottom, this first line is the min. The, the smallest observation It's this $4,511, okay? The second line is the first quartile, or in other words, it's, it's where 25% of the data is less than whatever this observation is, the first quartile, okay? Well, let's, let's actually, let's find each of these things using Excel. So min, the first quartile, Q1, sometimes that's called, the second quartile right here is the middle, this middle line, Q2. Uh, often that's called the median. Q3, this top line up here, that's where 75% of the data is less than that, that uh, whatever that Q3 is. Uh, and then Q4, or the max, is this top line up here. Now, this actually, since there's outliers, well, we're gonna, the max will not be, this top line will not be the max, but it'll be the, uh, the observation that's not an outlier, this biggest observation that's not, allowed, not an outlier, okay? And so we need to talk about out, how to find out where the outliers are. Okay, so how do we find all these quartiles? There's this nice function called quartile, and if I click on my C, right, it highlights all the data in that column. Press comma, and then zero will be the min value. Press enter, so there's the min. Okay, so it again for this first quartile. Quartile, one for the first quartile. 25% of the median incomes is less than uh, 35,625. The median, quartile, highlight your data, two, close parentheses, press enter. 50% of the date, 50% of these areas, these townships make less than 45,000. 
quartile, highlight the data, um, three. Okay, for the third quartile, 75% is less than 59,483. And then lastly, the max, highlight the data, and type four. Okay, I like to format these as um, dollars. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's make this look like a table by adding borders to it. Okay, so this first line here is this 45, um, 11. The second line here is the Q1, 30, 35,625. This middle line is the median, $45,305. And up top, this top line is the third quartile. So what is this and what is all this? Okay, basically what we wanna do is we wanna construct, we wanna figure out uh, how do you know when something is an outlier, right? How, how do all these guys get up here? Why are they up there? Well, first thing I would need to know is what's the interquartile range? right? An interquartile range is going to be, by definition, the third quartile minus the first quartile. So it's the, it's the range of the quartiles. Okay. And in this case, that's going to be, so I can press enter, press that third quartile, and then do minus, and then press the number where the first quartile is. Press enter. So it's 23,000. 858. Okay, so to find outliers, we would need to find a lower, a lower bound and an upper bound. Okay, and the lower bound, what you do is you take the first quartile, so this line here, and then you basically subtract off 1.5 times the inner quartile range. Okay, so basically what you say is, okay, if, as long as you, it's, it's okay if you're below the, um, the first quartile, but if you're too much below the first quartile, then you might be an outlier, okay? Then for the upper bound, you do the same thing, except it's for the third quartile. So it's okay if your data is above the third quartile, 25% will be above the third quartile. But if you're too much above, meaning if you're more than 1.5 times the inner quartile range, then you're an outlier, okay? So let's go ahead and calculate both these. The lower bound, Q1, minus 1.5 times the inner quartile range, okay? Press enter. It's a negative number, so no observation is less than that because our smallest observation is still positive. Okay, let's do the same thing for the upper bound. Q3 plus 1.5 times the inner quartile range. Press enter. 95,270. Okay. Not sure why I gave it a decimal. Let's take that away. 270. So there are quite a few observations that are above that. Okay. That's why there's all of these outliers up here. And this makes sense because median household incomes, we know, um, tend to be skewed, right? There are the people that make a ton of money that are very different than the rest of the United States. And so it makes sense that there are a lot of outliers that are making huge amounts of money, huge household incomes in those towns, okay? Okay, um, so what is this line then? This is the observation that is within that upper bound. Okay, so it's slightly below our upper bound. You see it's 95, 268, right? That is the biggest observation that is still below our upper bound. That's how you draw that line. 
and then anything that's above it becomes an outlier. And in a box plot, we represent that by just using dots. Okay, so one more thing that I want to talk about is how to find percentiles using Excel. So these are percentiles, right? Um, this is the 25th percentile, the 50th, and the 20 and the 75th percentile. But say I want to know the 10th percentile, right? Or in other words, um, where 10% of the observations are less than, okay? So there's this formula I can use, um, percentile dot exc. So go ahead and click on that, and then highlight your data. Press comma, and so if I want to know the tenth percentile, I'll write zero point one zero. Okay, and then press enter. Let's format that as a number or as a um, as a dollar sign. And what we see is that the 10th percentile is 28,336. So basically 10% of these townships, their median income is less than 28,365, okay? If, say I, now I wanna know the 90th percentile, okay? What do I do? I would type in percentile, click on this equation here, highlight the data, press comma, and the 90th percentile, I'll write 0 0.90. Close parentheses and press enter. And let's format that correctly. So what do we have? Dollars, okay. 90% of these towns make, their median income is less than $80,000. All right, let's do one more. What's the 90th, 99th percentile? Equals percentile, highlight the data, 0 0.99, oops, forgot to write a comma, comma, 0 0.99, press enter. Let's go ahead and format it. 146,000 $389, okay? And that's still like right around right here. So 99% of these towns make less than $146,000. In their median is less than that. Um, so there's this 1% of towns that are just extremely wealthy going all the way up to almost $250,000 as their median income in that town, okay? So very interesting, very interesting.